This morning, the Speaker of the House says that he's taking a stand. Mike Johnson says that he will call for a vote on funding for the war in Ukraine despite backlash from his own party. ABC's Perry Russum has that story. This morning, House Speaker Mike Johnson is defying critics in his own party by pushing ahead with votes on tens of billions of dollars in foreign aid. To put it bluntly, I would rather send bullets uh, to Ukraine than American boys. My son is going to begin in the Naval Academy this fall. This is a live fire exercise for me, as it is so many American families. This is not a game. It's not a joke. Earlier this week, Johnson announced plans to break up the $95 billion bill that would send money to Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan into separate bills. Conservative Republicans oppose funding for Ukraine, saying they want more spending on U.S. border security first. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has threatened to try to remove Johnson as Speaker if he brings Ukraine funding up for a vote. But last night, Green said she would not start that process until after the foreign aid packages go to the House floor. Because I think that bill is definitely going to uh, tell a lot of people exactly what I have been saying. Yesterday in northern Ukraine, at least 17 people were killed in an airstrike. An attack officials say could have been stopped if Ukraine had adequate air defenses. And in the Middle East, as the war in Gaza continues, ABC News has learned that Israel, on two nights this week, prepared attacks against Iran but canceled those plans. Sources now say an Israeli strike on Iran is unlikely until after the Passover holiday at the end of the month. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. The House bills on aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan are due for a vote by Saturday.